Hey everybody, my name is Adrian, and about four months ago, I posted a YouTube video of my college decision reactions. Thank you so much for all the love and support on that video. I never could have imagined that people wanted to see me scream, jump up and down, and just get bit by my dog, apparently. Um, but in that video, I was able to get into some amazing schools that I was so, so lucky to get into. Next year, I'm going to be attending Harvard University, and a lot of people were asking in the comments, you know, what did I do to get in? Do I have any advice or tips for incoming seniors? So I wanted to make another follow-up video and see if I can give you guys some maybe unconventional advice that you haven't heard before on YouTube. I wanna keep this video super brief because I know you probably don't have much time with college applications already coming along. So here's five unique tips that I used to get into Harvard in just under four minutes. So tip number one is what I like to call making your college application into a package. And by that, I mean at places like Harvard and other top 20 institutions, they don't like to see a well-rounded student as much as they like to see a well-rounded class. So when you're applying to these places, you really wanna focus on one or two specific areas that you excel in. So what I mean by that is taking actionable steps in your college application process to show schools why they need to have you. Think about things so simple as extracurricular descriptions, writing essays, conducting interviews. You wanna show them facets of yourself that you love and that you excel in. For me, those were two areas. That was advocacy and business, two things which I took really dearly and spent a lot of time on in high school. Now, tip number two is a little bit of a hot take. I really don't think that stats matter that much at all. I think that you need to get within that 25, 50% of the GPA and SAT median, and you'll be fine. I don't think I was in the top 20% of my class. I had a pretty good SAT, but not at the median of Harvard but I think they loved me for other things in my application. Tip number three is to use your numbers, especially when it comes to your extracurricular descriptions. You wanna show them actionable points to show how much impact you made in the activities you did. You also wanna carry that over into your essays and your interviews and really show the college how much of an impact you made and how you're gonna make a difference when you step on campus and into the world beyond. Now, tip number four is something that a lot of people just tend to brush right over. Most top 20 schools ask you to submit a resume. This is your chance to look professional to admissions officers and even gives you the opportunity to expand upon experiences and talk about new ones as well. You can put awards, GPA, languages, skills, anything you want to here, and it's free reign. So I want you to go on Google, search up Harvard resume template. The first website has about three or four beautiful ones that you can use. And also go on LinkedIn, look at people's bullet points of their experiences and see how they structure it. Mine is right down below if you want to check it out. I promise this will make admissions officers know that you're the real deal and that you know how to be professional. Now tip number five is the one that I hold to the highest standard throughout this entire video. It's to do what you love, to have fun doing it, and to excel. But the best part about all these three is that they're inextricably linked. If you love something, let's say a sport for instance, you're gonna spend time outside of practice becoming the best. And if you're not the best immediately, then you love it so much that you're gonna try to become the best. Now, if you put a bunch of these things together throughout your high school experience, when it comes time to lock in for that five month period when you're applying to college, it should be a privilege rather than a burden. You should relish the idea of being able to write down your experiences in the Common App, being able to talk about them in essays, and being able to be creative all while doing it. It should be fun, and it will be worth it. So those were some quick, actionable tips on how to get into schools like Harvard. I have a lot more, so if you want to hear any, please let me know down below. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.